Welcome back. A lot of us, some more than others, spend hours and hours and plenty of money grooming ourselves so that we can look the best we can and especially to create a strong first impression. But one area that too many people forget is their online profiles, those photos of drunken weekends, bikini shots. They might be fun to share with friends but can often be seen by thousands of complete strangers online. That includes your boss. Well, joining us now is Zarina Robertson, who is a personal brand photographer. Zarina, thank you for your time this morning. Oh, good morning. Thank you for having me today. It's a pleasure. First of all, a brand photographer. I can't say I'm familiar with the term, but you are one. What do you do? Well, I capture the essence of a business person and making sure that they convey certainty and confidence in their online images so that their presence, their persona, their perception online all is integrated and it works for them as a business person to attract clients that say yes to them and believe in them and their promise. All right. And now I do that through the camera, I through that and you, I do that through coaching. So it's a mindset yep. and it's also a way to approach them themselves as a as a personal brand and portraying that message online properly. And I imagine what you create is a long way from those drunken selfies that you often yeah. see on Facebook pages. <laughs> How common is it for bosses and, uh, and for potential would-be employers uh, to go and check out uh, their staff or, or candidates for, for positions at their firm uh, on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and sites like that? Uh, look, it's extremely important and it's actually really common. And it's more common uh, these days because everybody's quite accessible now on social media. Um, there's a lot of um, recruiters and I guess they, uh, they'll do an initial you know, no, no field for potential clients for, to fill positions. But I think employers have now access to Facebook pages and the names of the, the potential candidates and they actually screen uh, social media of the candidates and so it's pretty common and I think that's um, really crucial if you are looking for a job and you're looking for something that means a lot to you for your career and your future to make sure that you present the right persona and you, you know so your perception online is you know it's spot on. So Eddie, you must have seen some classically bad weird wonderful photos that perhaps yes. weren't giving off a great impression what are some of the obvious mistakes that people make on Facebook and Instagram? Oh, I, I, I truly believe that there's a lot of, um, I say, I look, everyone's, at the end of the day, everybody is happy, is, 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 it's fine to have fun, it's great, <laughs> but I think to, to sort of like uh, put up those drunkard shots and things like that, it, you know, especially if you've got, or you're looking for a job online, you know, if you're out there and looking for a job and you put, um, say, those sort of drunk shots or Things that are not of um, that are not going to add value to your message as a personal brand and looking for a job. I think it's really important to keep away from the the dodgy shots. I think that you can also separate your your the way that you go to market on social media. You can actually separate your business approach and your friends approach. So if you actually have a gut feeling on what you're going to post and you think about it twice. You know, f you know, be in tune with what who you are as a person before you actually press the go button to get that published, those images published online. Think about a who, what what kind of an impact is that going to have for you, you as a person? Um, you, maybe you as you, you know you as the you know the job hunter, yep. and also the people that are looking at you online. It's really quite a crucial. It's a balancing act. And yep. It's also sort of really good to ha make sure it's all, uh, I guess, pleasant. Absolutely. I suppose the golden rule is if it looks like it should be part of that slideshow that they uh, put up at the end of the Hangover movies, it's yeah. probably not a good idea to post it online. That's right. That's <laughs> not right. under your name anyway. Zarina, appreciate your thoughts this morning. Great advice. Thank you. Thank you.